whether you establish criteria at the beginning of a project or not at all. There exist industrial strength objective criteria uh, for learning the status of a project and pointing the way forward. These criteria can be found in the software engineering method and theory formulation and its kernel, the essence and common ground of software engineering. The common ground of dimensions termed alphas and the sequential states of progression associated with each alpha is that basis. The alphas and their alpha states are intended to be independent of particular methods, practices, and tools, and so possess the capability to guide progress and assess status of any software project, regardless of method and practice selections. The customer space is framed by a stakeholder shared vision for a well-conceived value proposition for the opportunity with convincing and consequential outcomes. The solution is bounded by stakeholder agreed to requirements and user stories and a software system architecture that facilitates a usable and operational software product. The endeavor's work is performed by a well-selected and ready team and a way of working based on established principles and foundations. Simple yet powerful, these sensible alphas and their natural states of progression are actually very useful in guiding a project on its way and in guiding a software industry that has lost its way. More specifically, the alphas and their sequential states include number one, stakeholder recognized, represented, involved, in agreement, satisfied with deployment, satisfied in use. Number two, opportunity, identified, software needed, value established, viable, addressed, benefit accrued. Number three, requirements, conceived, bounded, coherent, acceptable, addressed, fulfilled. Number four, software system, architecture selected, demonstrable, usable, ready, operational, retired. Number five, team, selected, formed, collaborating, performing, adjourned. Number six, way of working, principles established, foundations established, in use, in place, working well, retired. Number seven, work, initiated, prepared, started, under control, concluded, closed. As the twig is bent, so grows the tree. So to get your project off on the right foot, expectations should be set and evidence should be sought on the following assertions and principles based on the following alpha state checkpoints. Uh, number one, stakeholders are in agreement and share a vision for the project. Number two, an opportunity value proposition has been established and there is stakeholder shared vision for achieving it. Number three, requirements or user stories are coherent and acceptable and there is stakeholder shared vision for them. <clears throat> Number four, the software system architecture is selected and comprises a domain specific archite architecture to guide software system implementation and the software system implementation is made ready and operational with no technical debt. Number five, the team operates in collaboration shares a vision for the project, and is ready to perform with respect to shared vision, software engineering process, software project management, software product engineering, operation support, and domain-specific architecture processes, methods, and tools. Number six, the way of working by the team has established foundations for software engineering process, software project management, software product engineering, and operations support. Number seven, the work is started, 
only when all is prepared, including coherent requirements and acceptable user stories, stakeholders in agreement, and an established foundation for the way of working. Number eight, all work products are prepared and inspected in accordance with a defined standard of excellence, assuring completeness, correctness, and consistency. Now let's take a closer look at the checklist items for three alpha states, requirements, software system, and way of working. Requirements or user stories are coherent and acceptable, and there is stakeholder shared vision for them. The requirements alpha state checklist items are defined here. The software system architecture is selected and comprises a domain-specific architecture to, gu to guide software uh, system implementation. And the software system implementation is made ready and operational with no technical debt. The software system alpha states, uh, state items are defined here. The way of working by the team has established foundations for software engineering process, software project management, software product engineering, and operations support. The way of working alpha state checklist items are defined here. All work products are prepared and inspected in accordance with a defined standard of excellence, assuring completeness, correctness, and consistency. Software inspections practice employs the strongly preferred indicators from a standard of excellence spanning completeness, correctness, style, rules of construction, and multiple views. Completeness is based on traceability among the requirements, specifications, designs, code, and test procedures. Correctness is based on reasoning about programs through the use of informal verification and correctness questions derived from the prime constructs of structured programming, their composite use in proper programs, and the disciplined data structures uh, they manipulate. Style and consistency are based on project-specified style guidance for block structuring, naming conventions, commentary, alignment, and templates for repeating patterns. Rules of construction are based on software architecture and the specific protocols, templates, and conventions used to carry it out. These architectural rules assist in achieving non-functional attributes. Multiple views are based on the various perspectives required to be reflected in the product, including the programmer, tester, user, computer resource loading, as well as essential but elusive non-functional non -functional attributes like safety, security, and privacy. Here is my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.